There's old Josh opening the gate to turkey camp. Hi sir, is this turkey camp? This here is a turkey country. One turkey for every man, woman, and child. Go! 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 All right, let's go. Well guys, tomorrow is the opening day of turkey season and uh, I told myself I was gonna make a turkey hunt happen this spring and I, I made an Insta story about turkey hunting this spring that I didn't have plans yet, but I was gonna do it. And uh, a guy by the name of Greg Sacco sent me a, a DM, a message and said, I know I'm a complete stranger, but I've got a bunch of property and a bunch of turkeys if you wanna come down and uh, try your luck. So I talked to my boy Josh, the other half of Catch and Cook, and we decided that we we're gonna make the trip for turkey openers. So it is April 24th, season opens tomorrow, and uh, we're just getting prepped in the woods. I'll show you what we're doing right here. What's up, Josh? We're gobble stocking. Gobble stocking. We're treeing this bad boy in. Brushing it in. Brushing the blind in. We're just making the blind look more like a blind and more like a patch of the bush. So you've shot, what, 30 turkeys before? 40 turkeys? Yeah, this will be probably like my 35th hunt overall. And uh, lots of lots of tur turkey experience. So we're gonna shoot the big, the big, uh, the big birds today, tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow, not yeah, today. Tomorrow. And uh, we're just excited. We're here. We're here for the toms, you know. <laughs> we're here for the big thunder chickens and the noodle flappers, and <laughs> we're just gonna make it happen. Uh, Josh and I. Well, Josh knows more about hunting than I do, um, but we're both very novice turkey hunters. I've, I've ever only shot one turkey. Um, but anyways, guys, if you want to see the story of Josh's turkey hunt, you're going to want to head over to the Catch and Cook channel where that's going to go live. Um, and if you want to see the story of my turkey hunt, well, you should keep watching this video. But anyways, we're getting brushed in. I'm holding the camera so I don't have to do any physical labor. There's Kayla. Greg's better half. <laughs> Greg Sacco, everybody. How many acres do you have? We got 450 accessible across the street. We have 160 right here. Wow. Lots of playroom. How many turkeys? All of them. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> How many years have you been turkey hunting here? Uh, it's been about 12 years. 12 years. So Greg has some experience and uh, I have no expectations. I know how hunting goes. I've been on many failed hunts and I, I think Greg feels like he's guiding, but uh, I'm just happy to be out here. And we already went for a little cruise this morning and saw some turkeys, which was awesome. What time do we have to get up tomorrow? Be up at four. Four, four o'clock. Oh, we uh, we got up earlier this morning and heard some goblin. Um, we're really not too far from his hunt camp and he's uh, situated in a, in a pretty good location for turkeys. So I should put down the camera and uh, we're gonna we're gonna brush things in. Well, things are pretty much set up. We're going to be back here very early in the morning. But are you gonna practice? Are you gonna shoot your bow today or no? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll probably, gonna... I'll take some shots out of the blind. I think we'll bring the decoy, or what do they call that thing? The bag, the shooting bag. We should put the shooting bag like right where we need to, to You're shoot You're gonna turkeys. bring it out here? Yeah, and then we'll shoot through the blind. May okay, as well yeah. take a couple real practice shots, real life scenario, do some calling, do some chirping. We gotta do that maybe sooner than later because there's gonna be turkeys back here. Good morning, good morning, good morning, rise and shine. Welcome to turkey camp. Welcome to opening day of turkey season. I got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news is today, turkey season opens and there's a lot of excitement in the air. I cannot, cannot wait to get close to a gobbler, but unfortunately, Josh woke up with a massive migraine so he is gonna sit back today so it's gonna be me and Greg I don't know if this is helping or hurting it's gonna be me and Greg starting off opening morning together sitting in the blind and um, yeah I don't know what to expect it snowed a little bit you can see it cooled off in big time from yesterday actually it was probably like plus 14 and today it's minus one in the morning but I'm okay with that I'd love to get some cool turkey footage with some snow coming down but uh, anyways Greg has hunted this property for many years has a really good grasp on where the turkeys are moving what they're doing and uh, 
I'm feeling good about where we set them up. So this is, for those of you that aren't into turkey hunting or never watched a turkey hunt before, this is, this is mating season. This is when the males get all puffed up and waddle around and it's just like, it's the most ridiculous thing ever to witness. And I've only been a part of it, you know, one or two times and it was, it, it was wild. It was just, it got my heart pumping. So um, we're gonna have no headlights on. We turn the generator off. Things are gonna be super quiet as we sneak behind his cabin into, into the blind. So luckily it's just a short walk. Greg's just getting ready here. And uh, yeah, unfortunately it's just the two of us, but um, we'll make the most of it and maybe we can double up. There are situations in turkey hunting where you get two, you know, Jake's or a Jake and a Tom, or a Tom is a more mature male, a Jake being a smaller one, a hen being a female. I'm just rambling. I drank one of those like five hour energies this morning. I'm just feeling great. It's like 3.30. Probably 4.30 by now. I don't know, it's early. What's the game plan? Try and sneak out there as quiet as we can and set our decoys up. Just let it, everything settle settle down. So they'll be in the tree still when you think? Yeah, they'll be in the tree till about six. That mask is so scary. <laughs> <laughs> that's unreal. Greg's a nice person, I promise. I think that's pretty much it. Dude, we did it. Oh, that was unreal. Unreal. Oh, there were so many birds there. There. That footage is gonna be absolutely wild. That was, I couldn't believe how many there were. Dude, good job, you crushed them. Wow, that was insane. I didn't, all of a sudden there's just so many turkeys. Oh. I don't think we would have been able to double with all those birds there. No, no, that's, I'm, I'm glad you took the shot because I was just happy to get that on film. That was absolutely unbelievable. That was ridiculous. Unreal, unbelievable. I was just as excited to film that as to pull the trigger. I was like zoomed in on the birds. I don't even know how many turkeys there were. There's probably a dozen. And uh, Greg's like, I'm gonna take the tom. So, wow, let's take a look. Dude, unreal. I'm shaking. That's a good one. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Wow. Super exciting. Holy smokes. So it's always that easy. That's a big beard. They are such crazy looking animals. Wow, dude. Oh. So that was like, what? Eight hens and 
Oh, two there, times? there was at least 13. <laughs> there was a lot. <laughs> there was quite a few birds. We got yeah. some snow there last night. Just a dusting and uh, made for a different kind of spring morning. Oh man, what a start. That was uh, that was incredible. Like, thank you, Jay. No, thank you. I was just happy to be a part of that. That was amazing. I don't like, honestly, I'm just like as happy to film as to pull the trigger. That was, I could hear your breathing get heavy and then my breathing got heavy and then, oh man. Turkey, turkey hunting is so cool. And they were so quiet, we heard them gobbling back and forth and then it just went silent. And then all of a sudden you could see them straight on, right where Greg said, and I, I think the footage is good, I don't know. Was, There's so many birds. Luckily this guy was puffed up and, whew. Still shaking. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been, yeah, that would have been overwhelming with archery with all those birds. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah that was drawing good. Drawing on a, on, a, on a block like that, it's just, one sees you in alerts and they're gone. Yeah. Open day. Oh, April. You got it. There you go. Done. That easy. Tag one. <laughs> it's Turkmas. Turkmas 2021. Well, as you guys may have saw in the video, I, I didn't shoot a turkey that day. But if you head over to the Catch Cook channel, um, you'll see the main film that we made from the trip. Uh, the whole point of the trip was to gather a bunch of new content for Catch and Cook. Um, that's the uh, fish batter company that Josh and I created a couple months back. And uh, we, we are launching some new products. By the time you see this video, we got three spices that just launched and, and that was one of the main points of going on the trip was you know capturing uh, you know creating a new commercial getting some photos some imagery and before we get any further i'm going to share with you guys the commercial of the new catch and cook spice collection So there you have it. Uh, really happy with how they came together. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun doing that. But um, yeah, if you wanna see part two of this trip um, where I and Josh potentially harvest uh, a turkey, we had a pretty special morning. I don't, I don't wanna give too much away, but um, the link will be below as well, a link to the spices and to catch and cook. Uh, we got some hats as well. Um, as I've mentioned before, guys, I don't have any sort of Patreon account, but if you do wanna support this channel, supporting Catch and Cook is the best way to do it. I, I would be so grateful for that. And uh, yeah, just huge shout out to Kayla, Dylan, and Greg for hosting us. Uh, hopefully we can make it back to Turkey Camp next year. And uh, thank you guys for watching and we will see you again very, very soon.